discovered. We, we, it belies the fact that you've had experience, that you've shot that, that uh, award-winning um, a music video. What was this experience like, having to kind of step back and kind of play this undiscovered, very young... Well, I mean, even here, I'm still the young filmmaker. Mm. Um, music videos, very often, people cut their teeth on them. Mm. I've done small ads, I've made a couple short films. But that step up to making films in L.A., I very much felt undiscovered. So, here's this competition, you win. Yeah. And then you get to have the experience of working with Kevin Spacey, who has been nominated through his teeth. He's respected worldwide as a thespian. And then, in the past, he used to be in front of the screens. Now he's playing the role of producer. And Adrian Brody is, uh, is your lead actor. What was that experience like? Um, at first, quite intimidating, of course. I mean, Adrian's won an Oscar with The Pianist. Sure. Um, and an intense guy, very professional. Um, but I was actually put at ease by everyone very early on. I was actually allowed quite a bit of creative freedom and I didn't, felt like, I didn't feel like I was being patronized by them, which really helped. How important was that creative freedom? I think it's huge and I think it's something we really need to learn here. Very often there's this idea that we need to coach filmmakers and I agree we do need to help them but you also need to let the creative have some freedom and some space if we want to make unique stuff. Okay, so you, as a creative person, you're, you're out of the box. Why were you attracted to the idea of Adam or the mascot? I don't know. You know what? Aside from the idea, which is heightened, I've never been a mascot, the character was someone I understood. And that whole idea of having a passion ripped away from you, someone that's pursued their passion, mm. I can very much relate with that. And I think that's with anything. You have to relate to the character and that's where it starts. We could almost argue that this could be a full feature length film. <laughs> it could be, it could be. And it's also, what's interesting, it's not, it's not, not what people expect. Um, but yeah, it would be interesting to see where that would go. I think it would go, become a lot darker if I went to do a full feature. <laughs> So, take me through the first day. You're walking on set, you've got Kevin Spacey in the background, you've been prepped, you've mm. got your own creative uh, mm. flow going on, Adrian Brody is there. Mm. What is that experience like? Because you've, you've worked mm. in the South African environment mm. and now you're working in the inter this yeah. international environment. What was that first day like? I mean, our crews are on the same level as crews in the States. And I keep saying this to people, is we really have amazing crews here and we, we take them for granted. The difference being Adrian, in that Adrian was so well prepared, walking on, he had made so many clear visions that, funny enough, aligned to our, how I had seen it, that I actually had very little to do with him. I kind of had to maybe push him in certain directions, but for the most part, he was making decisions that I had never even thought of and were better than my first thoughts. <laughs> What is that like as a, as a creative, walking into a, an environment with... And, and I've often heard, because mm. part of the show is you get to interview and deal with so many mm. different people, and you hear that there's a different class of actor mm. out there. And not saying that our, mm. the, our actors locally are, mm. not, are not professional, mm. not, but there are actors that operate on a different level. Is that what you experienced? Um, you know, in some ways, he's similar to actors here. He has the same need. He, he has the need to please, which all actors have. The first take, he's trying to give you as much as he can, and you often have to say, Adrian, I don't need so much, um, which is amazing <laughs> to see with someone on that yeah. level. Um, but the one thing, we have amazing talent here, but the one thing we need to learn is the preparation. Even though he was making a short film for some unknown South African to him, he was so well prepared, and funny enough, walked on sometimes knowing the character better than I did. What is the next process in this journey? You've shot the film? It premieres in LA in late June. And then what's going to happen is it's going to be broadcast on YouTube. It's going to be the YouTube ad for a short time. So I keep saying this to people, please for once don't skip the ad. Mm. Are you moving to LA? No, I'm definitely making films about South Africa. Okay, Mark Minowick, thank you very much for joining me here in studio. He's a young filmmaker whose script won him the internationally acclaimed short film competition, The Jameson First Shot. Middlewick is one of three talented writer-directors who will be in L.A. to make their winning short films. With, uh, in actual fact, he's made his already with Adrian Brody, and it's called The Mascot.